Here's the deal. Natalie's in the shower behind me. Natalie's my girlfriend, for those of you that don't know. And she's getting ready for a hair appointment that I've set up for her. What she thinks is that the two of us are going out on a romantic night in the city tonight. What she doesn't know is that when she comes back in a few hours, I'm not going to be here. Okay, I gotta go. I'm not supposed to be here. Hi Natalie, this is Joan at the front desk. I have something here for you. Can you come down and get it? Uh, sure. Okay, thank you. Hey Nat, I had to run out for a bit and my phone died, but I got you something to wear tonight from a boutique down the street called Dagny and Barstow. Emily is there waiting for you. Don't worry about what you wear over there. I took care of it. Oh, and bring black shoes. Hi again, you made it. Now just one more step in this journey and don't worry, I'll be there at the next stop. You should have your choice of a few dresses, so I want you to pick your absolute favorite. Right now. The one you like best is yours. For tonight, forever, when you're all set, hair, makeup, dress, head outside, and I'll see you very soon. You may be wondering what exactly I have put you through today, and I'm hoping that you've had a little bit of fun on this mini journey that I've sent you on. But trust me, it's almost over. I'm going to be seeing you in a few minutes. Thinking back to the beginning, freshman year, I remember at BC when we would go out with Liz, and I would always find myself wondering, often outright asking her, is your friend Natalie going to be out tonight? I wonder if that girl Natalie will be there. I just remember every time I saw you, whether we spoke at the bar or not, as brief as it was and as young as we were, I was completely amazed by you. Your smile, your laugh, you had such a welcoming personality and I knew all along that I wanted to get to know you better. So we're going to need to start the sign to make make the signs. You, you have what they need to say? Yeah. Okay. Do you all the dates the same? Yeah. Do all the dates the same and then the writings? Yeah. And then the letters or the script? Just big. So, I mean that was 10 years ago and I thought putting you through this journey was kind of a perfect way to define our relationship and how we've gotten to where we have today. Yes, it took me almost 11 years to ask you out, but when I finally did and you said yes, I had a feeling it was going to be forever. Whoa, did you get that? <laughs> I feel like we took every potentially awkward or iffy situation that couples go through and just did it ran with it naturally, knowing all along that it was right. When you know, you know, right? From holidays this year, to meeting the family, to nights out with your friends and my friends, to eventually moving in together, it never felt like it was too soon. And you have honestly made me happier than I've ever been. Just having you to share the special moments in life with. Uh, we have a candle, we'll have to make a little aisle where of candles. You'll, you'll see a little like table up there. Yeah. Gonna, that's where Brian, you're gonna stay right next to that? Okay. Um, but we'll just do, do you want candles on both sides? On both sides and then okay. just a couple on the 
season four. I'll never forget picking you up on our first date in my Nissan Sentra and you walking out of your, what is now our place. I remember sitting in the car watching you come down the stairs and thinking, yes, finally, I just knew. You continue to make me happier every day, even when you aren't trying to, even if we're not in the same place. Trust me, I spent many nights for about 10 years lying down to sleep and thinking of you. My roommates used to make fun of me when we'd be sitting around at the lodge or out at a bar and we'd be texting nonstop and I, ha I would have this, what they were calling, a stupid little smile on my face. They'd say, who are you talking to? And I used to say back, my future wife. Now, years later, we spend every night next to each other and I never imagined I would be this lucky to have you, just the most amazing, beautiful, smart, funny, and unbelievably lovable and giving woman I've ever met right at my side. I often struggle to find the right words to describe you to other people because there really are none that could sum up truly how I feel about you. You touch every person that you meet and I hear all the time. The bar or restaurant, you're one lucky guy. She's, she's gonna, gonna be around. outside, she's gonna come around that back side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll move that table and everything so there's really nothing in her way. Yeah. I'm gonna see her face on the first time she yeah. sees yeah. it. And then she's gonna walk. Then... I'm excited every day about the fact that so much has happened this quickly. What's going to happen next, I always ask myself. What's gonna happen for the rest of our lives? When we first started hanging out, one of your friends pulled me aside, not knowing that we'd been out a few times. He said to me, Whoever marries that girl is going to be the luckiest guy in the world. And I knew it at the time, and I know it even more now. He was absolutely right. Sit back, relax, and I'll see you very soon.